Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today is January 2nd, and if you guys are like me, you sometimes like to take a look at your battery usage. Sometimes you like to see how long you've been using the phone, your screen on time, how much time is left on your batteries discharging, which applications is using up the most battery, and maybe even taking a look at the health of your battery for the last seven days. But if you're using Samsung One UI 3.0, you might notice that all of this is gone. So if you took a look at your battery usage and you notice that there is no data there, and pretty much no matter what you do, when you use applications, if you charge your phone, nothing shows up. Now, if you are using Samsung One UI 2.5, there is no issues. And the issue stems from the new year rolling over. So you can see that I can still see my last seven days, even into 2020. And here we are in 2021. And you're not able to see any of your data usage or battery usage when it comes down to Samsung One UI 3.0. Now I was able to fix it over here on this phone and I'm gonna show you how you can do that over here on this phone just because I don't wanna get rid of all of this data because now it's been refreshed, it's been recached. So in this way it's able to actually pick up everything I'm doing just as normal. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. Now, both of these phones are running Samsung One UI 3.0, and luckily I have two phones that is running that, so this way I'd be able to give this theory a test. So all you would have to do first off is plug your phone in, make sure it's going all the way up to 100%. So this way it can restart over with a fresh battery at 100%. And as it's charging, what I did on the Galaxy S20 was I went inside of the settings. Then you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says apps. Now, once you tap on apps, you want to tap on this little icon right there and allow that show system apps. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to simply search and search for the word device. Now, if you wanted to scroll all the way through, you could, but it is gonna take a little bit of time. Now, the two things that I cleared the cache and the data on was device care. And I don't know if one of these actually fixed it or if both of them fixed it, but I'm showing you exactly what I did to at least you know fix this whole thing. So as you take a look at device care, just go underneath your storage, go to clear cache. Then you wanna go to uh, the, the whole manage storage, you go to clear data here, clear, and you can see that it this is looking a little different on 3.0 than it did on Samsung One UI 2.5. So now we're gonna move back the screen again. We're still underneath device uh, for all of the system apps. So again, search for the word device. Then you're gonna scroll all the way down. You're gonna find this one here. It's called Samsung Device Health Manager Service. So this is the one that you wanna go inside of storage. And if you can clear the cache, go for it. If not, at least go to clear data. So now that you've completely cleared all, out of all of that, just make sure that you let your phone go all the way up to 100%. So once you have all of that done, you fully charged your phone, it's sitting at 100%. You start using other applications. When you go back inside of your settings, when you go inside of this battery and device care, when you click on battery right there, right away, it's still gonna show nothing. It's not gonna say that you've used any applications, but as you start using applications, just use it as your normal use. Go inside of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube Music, whatever it is, as you're using those, after a couple minutes, then your phone is gonna start recaching everything that you're using from this moment on. So you're not gonna find everything from any day before you do this little reset, but you are gonna have everything start to you know, calculate and accumulate from this moment on. So that is why when you actually take a look at this phone over here, uh, this one has been used for 51 minutes, screen on time for 32 minutes. Uh, let's see, it's been on battery for one hour and two minutes. And this is all I've done since I restarted all of this. Uh, and you can see that for my last seven days, I'm not able to see the rest, but from here on out, it'll definitely calculate and, and keep it all in there. Uh, so then this way it's gonna look just good as new. So why this little bug is sitting there on Samsung One UI 3.0, I don't know why. I don't know what it is with rolling over the new year and some technologies just doesn't really pick it up on it, but it's a small little bug, something that Samsung can find. But if you watch this video and you notice that you don't really wanna take any of these measures, you don't wanna do any of these steps, it's actually very easy and simple to fix all of this. Uh, if you don't wanna do this one, you can just simply wait because Samsung should be pushing off the January update and maybe they'll have this little bug patched in with that little update as well. So again, if you don't wanna do any of these little steps, 
it's super easy. You can just wait maybe a week or two. Whenever uh, Samsung pushes out that, that January patch for all of these phones, then maybe it's fixed with that update. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.